eager and hurt myself so welcome to my channel we have a fun little video for you today he never sleeps so when he sleeps I'll soak it up hello welcome to my channel so today's video is a lot surrounding homeschooling if you're here for the weight loss update and all that that'll be monday i'm gonna do a full one because last week i was really extra having to reprogram what i'm doing it's been a big blow for me i feel like a older lady saying that my knees hurt because my knees do hurt i hurt myself running and i should have known better because i'm too happy to be running but you know i've been feeling so good feeling so different that that's what i did um anyway all that to say everything's fine today is all about homeschooling so a lot of homeschooling involved i'm at the point now in weight loss where you can see a difference you may not too on video because i do find out I, I do look bigger on video but you definitely can tell like people who, who know us who haven't seen us in maybe a week uh, this past weekend they were like oh you know and daniel whenever he hugs me he can feel different so that's making me feel good too um I, i'm almost down a full 18 pounds i think this week I should hit the 20, 20 pound mark, which is exciting. Um, I'll share more next tomorrow. But what I will say is this week is this video is full of homeschooling stuff, homeschooling content stuff, and the kids had an absolute blast. This was a fun week for us. Um, they learned a lot, and I plan on showing more of this because. When people hear we still do in school, we're not doing the curriculum anymore, we're doing review. I plan to make it fun like this all the time. I want her to work on her writing, I want them to work on their math and their reading and all that, but I want it to be fun. So, I hope you enjoy how we strategize this week. I will talk about two points before hopping into the videos. And you do see a little bit of the bakery stuff. I did do a cookies and cream cookie stuffed with the brownie mix and it was heavenly so that was a good win for me for the big bakery so while we're way beyond this point i really enjoyed taking sentences or lessons and kind of extending them one way i extended this lesson today was i had so she had to read them she had to highlight if it was true and if it was false not to highlight it and then the last sentence she had to make the sentence true what word could you take out to make the sentence true a and dog she enjoyed that I will put my, my marker here. As I move, you have to try to read faster so you Kay. can beat me with reading than the way I can draw. Kay. Ready? So let's go. On your marks, get set, go. You shouldn't be sounding out. You should be reading. Go. I don't know how to do this. Yes, you can. Ready? Go. The thing is you'll see me and Mia doing the race. When I first introduced it, she got overwhelmed pretty quickly. That is the type of learner she is. Um, and I had to push her to try. By the time we got on our second time doing it, she crushed it. She kept asking to do more. In fact, this morning, she asked if we were gonna do that again this coming week. She does, she loves pressure. She does very well. She thrives in the pressure, but the introductory to the pressure type of game or activity, she panics because she doesn't want to get something wrong or she feels very scared to begin. So this is kind of something that happens pretty often with her and her learning. You start. I'll follow. Dad. Keep going. Has no. What's the B? Bad. Uh huh. Keep going. Okay, go. Start from the beginning again. Bad. Bad. Keep going. Sad. Keep going. You're winning. Keep going. Last. Keep going. Mad. Good job. Okay, are you ready? My marker's over here. You can start when you're ready. Go. Had. Wait, we're doing this word. Had. Look at the ending sound. What did we just say the sound was? It. All right, so we're just adding the first sound, the beginning sound, to it, and it becomes a new word. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Hit. Sit. Dip. Little. Lit. Fit, hit, kid, pid. Okay, let's try it again. What sound does it make? It. All right, so we got it. We need to hear that it sound at the end. So this is hit. hit. This is sit. Hit. 
Okay, what's that letter? B. Uh huh. So we, it's not dit. It's b. It is. Bit. All right, we gotta go again. Ready? You're gonna start from the beginning. Ready? On your marks. You go when you're ready, and I'll start. Sit. Sit. Good. Bit. Keep going. Ooh is lit. Yes. Fit. Kit. Pit. Is finally falling in love with pressure um writing, free writing, like freedom. And that I'm excited about. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. It was a fun day. A fun week of homeschooling. Our group will climb the highest peak. The third sentence, you are going to write a sentence that would make sense in a story for the second sentence. So the sentence says, our group will climb the highest peak. Okay, what would be a story in the story with that sentence that you could write that would make sense? So if you're basing it, basing a sentence from that second sentence what would make sense in a story what would come next what would come before that sentence what do you think like, where do you think that sentence is taking place at um the park with mountains or no I was thinking. What's the highest peak then? Well, really, at a summer camp, they do challenges and they always lose, but this time they're trying to win. What would the highest peak be about then? A very hard challenge to see who wins. Okay, a highest peak is like the, the peak is at the top of the mountain. Oh, then the summer camp will be by it. Okay. All right. You figure out your sentence next. Go. I can't wait to hear it. After our games, we went for a great walk together, and this was fun. <laughs> While we were walking, I did some homemade bread rising, so we came back and baked it. So and we have we our bakery stuff. Something in the works. Can you figure out what it is? So you make the brownies first, and then you'll make the dough, freeze the dough, stuff the dough, and here is the result, a brownie stuffed cookies and cream cookie. I am going to be starting the bakery again, and this is going to be one of the items, but also anybody who has my mix can make it. So we came up with a, I would like to do Fridays as a fun day, and we came up with a game. It is not Uno, but this is the only cards we have, so we're just using what we have instead of having to run to the store. And what we're doing is we began with, since I have younger, it's just number recognition for her age, and her age is great. Um... <laughs> And then we're adding to it. So we first started off with a set of five for each kid. And they had to say, do you have a yellow five? Do you have a green five? Or whatever their card was in their hand to get pairs. But we shortly, we quickly realized that because there's so many cards in Uno, Uno stack that it's hard to have the same color. So then we went on to doing, hey, do you have a five? Okay, so then we started getting some pairs that way, some matches. And then now we're at... Do you have something that is less than or greater than a five? So then the per the child would have to say, okay, so that would be a four or a six. Mm -hmm. And if they have a four or a six, then they get a pair. But if they have a four and a six, then they get a, we're calling it a stripe. And then they're getting closer to winning the game. It's been really fun so far. Thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do subscribe. And I see you above it. Um, I hope you have subscribed. If not, please do. And if you are homeschooling, please let me know in the comments below what kind of games you're going to be doing this summer with your kiddos. And if you don't homeschool, but you cook and you're for those recipes, I have some great ones coming this week. Let me know what you're cooking this week. God bless you.